Hey, what is up guys? It's Nemo and today I'm using the uh, Amazon Fire Kids Edition tablet, the 7 inch one, the 2015 October November release tablet uh, to show you how to install Kodi on this uh, kids tablet. Well, it's uh, was it around £99 at the time of pre-release, uh, pre-order and uh, following the um, Black Friday and um, Cyber Monday it has been reduced so I'm sure you guys can get a very good deal right now on this device so it offers tons of apps for kids I'm right now using the uh, the parents profile just to show you um, so get, let's get started with that further ado and um, so what you need to do you need to go into the settings within the um, the adults or the parents profile go to security uh, if you have your pin set up to access that profile then just enter the pin and what you need to do is you just need to get the settings to uh, allow unknown sources so this needs to be enabled before that by default it was uh, disabled so just enable that click on OK and now you're good to go so let's exit this what you need to do um, I would also recommend you to download ES File Explorer so this app uh, allows to access the internal storage of the device as well as the SD card as well where we're gonna now uh, we will soon and I'll show you why we need this app to be able to access the download files so what you need to do once you have downloaded the EX file explorer from the Amazon App Store uh, you will have it displayed in the menu uh, so you should be good to go if you have it there and then what we need to do we need to download Kodi so for that what you need to do you need to go to kodi.tv forward slash download and download the Google Android version so the um, Amazon Fire Stick is actually using Android uh, OS uh, in the back end uh, a very highly customized version of, of Android never, nevertheless so uh, just for the purpose of installing Kodi make sure that once you go to the download section download the ARM version of Kodi it will then pop in the screen and you will be able to basically select uh, to view the download and uh, it's about I think 60 or 80 meg I'm not 100% sure again but uh, let's double check so once it's downloaded you will have it uh, in the download folder of your device so if you go in this section download once you click on download and it will be the 15.1 sorry the 15.2 version um, I'm going to delete this this version delete yes this is the older version so make sure you download this one from the Kodi.tv website 15.2 at the time of this video release the 16 uh, version is out the beta is out but I'd rather have a stable version to, to show you guys so all you need to do is basically to click the icon and it will start the installation of Kodi uh, so I have done so and I will show you uh, what it looks like but because I have installed Kodi and I have installed a, a specific version of a wizard called um, the Beast by Chris Chris B. Um, uh, so that's his release of let's say different add-ons, different settings that he has put into Kodi, which makes the interface very nice. So I have done the installation of that, and to do that, basically, you do the installation of Kodi, which will which will give you the vanilla version of the application that everybody can install from the website, and then you can install different, um, let's say. Um, wizard or uh, packages or whatever to have different add-ons and you can customize those but for the look and feel of those uh, those add-ons so what Chris has done he has created a wizard and I'll show you where you can download this wizard so again run silk browser and access the this website so all you need to do is go to http colon forward slash forward slash spartan pixel dot net as forward slash repo and here download the wizard.zip okay so once you do that it's a very small file again you will have it as I said you will have it in this space it will be here and what you need to do is 
start Cody. The version of Cody I have already is already set up with the Beast, so the interface will be totally different from the vanilla version of, of Cody 15.2, but I'll show you what it looks like once you launch it. So this is the customized uh, build of Cody, uh, and as you can see, it has um, a lot of interesting things, a lot of interesting uh, add-ons and uh, settings that was done. So a lot of effort has been put by Chris. So so thanks a lot for that. Um, and this new thing is quite interesting actually. It only does that at the beginning, so don't worry about it. But it's actually really useful if you do install packages, any zip files uh, for add-ons and things. It will tell you which file needs to be cleared or which package and things. And, and you can simply go uh, into the settings and uh, you can clear that up. Uh, so I have managed to save about 500 megabytes of of uh, setting uh, files, which was packages that was downloaded and installed on the device. Once it's installed, you don't need to keep it up. Uh, so you can remove that, so that's pretty good. Uh, so I'll just quickly show you the, the interface is very very uh, nice a lot of add-ons um, a sub menu of uh, of add-ons as well as I don't know if you guys can see it at the bottom so you can scroll down you can select uh, I'm not going to go through all the options you have available but uh, let me show you um, how you need to basically enable it so once you have Kodi installed go to uh, settings sorry my finger is not going through it's a little bit difficult with the with the camera in one hand okay so you go to basically settings right and you go to uh, where is it sorry let's go back so to go back to make the menu appear the back button just to scroll down basically uh, from from down to up okay so just go back and here you see file manager so go to file manager and from file manager what you need what you would like what you want to do is to add a source uh, and the source is basically your download folder um, so you need to access your internal storage so let's, let's see if I can access that hmm let me just go back, cancel, browse one more time. Maybe external storage. Uh, my finger's not helping there. Okay. Maybe download. Okay. Come on. Download. Okay. So just click on the OK button. So now we've created a, a kind of link or shortcut to your download folder. And all you need to do is just click OK and that has been uh, saved here if I'm not wrong um, and it should have been actually downloaded but it's yeah so it's here right so you can see it uh, so what we need to do now we're gonna go back and within the uh, add-ons we're gonna click add-ons and we're gonna go to install from zip and here we're gonna select download and it's uh, let me show you. I think the camera was not positioned correctly. So you go to the system, right? Add-ons. Now we have created a shortcut. We can do that. A shortcut to our, our download folder. Then you go to install from zip. Here you locate download. As I said before, your menu is totally different because this is already installed via the beast. Uh, so the vanilla version of Kodi will be totally different, but it's the same way, exactly the same way for you to guys to do that. And you click on uh, wizard.zip. So that will uh, trigger the program that will install it in the background. And you will see um, a message at the bottom here says that the wizard has been installed or set up. Okay. So once you have that, go back to um, Kodi itself and you will then need to go to programs okay and within programs you will see uh is that this one yes this is the one so when you click on uh, the wizard you will have only one or two icons so you will have you wouldn't have as much as, as i had so you have three options there you can install the beast uh release the spartan release or the royalist release which is the latest one the beast is actually quite complete uh, royalist the interface is totally different and it's quite interesting uh, but I'd rather have the beast just to show you 
all the things that are that are available on that. So this is the reason why I've did that. Once you decide to install the beast, it's going to take uh, quite some time to download, depending on your internet speed and how close you are to your Wi-Fi or else. Um, it's going to download uh, the files required to install all the add-ons, all the repositories, all the background images, wallpapers and icon images. So it takes a long time. I mean, it, it shouldn't take that long, but it did on, on my installation because of uh, the, the Wi-Fi I'm using. Um, so once you do the installation, it will it will start, and um, then you will just need to basically make sure once the installation is done to exit Kodi and to uh, restart uh, Kodi. Okay, so it's simple, right? So now just to show you again what Kodi looks like with the beast. So what's the point of having Kodi installed and what's the point of having Beast installed? So with that, uh, understanding how XBMC, how Kodi works, it's going to be a bit difficult. But uh, the, the, the good thing about Kodi is that it gives you a lot of options to use third-party add-ons, official add-ons, um, other add-ons that were created by the community and so on. So it's, it's fairly... Uh, fairly open open source uh, so it's quite extendable and a lot of interesting things let's say such as the IT uh, iView TV guide which basically give you a guide of all the TV programs that are available and you can choose one which I will choose a, an, a free to air channel It's asking you which add-on. There are a few add-ons that I installed on this build that will allow to play that channel for free. So to conclude, guys, uh, the uh, Beast is installed. The Kodi version uh, of the build uh, Beast is installed on the Amazon Kids Tablet Edition, and uh, so you can enjoy a lot of movies, TV series, uh, live TVs, and um, kid shows and, and things like that so it's really useful and interesting um, let's see if we can maybe access the movie section just to see click on movies trending movies as an example So you can see all the movies on the side here, and you can see the description of those movies. That's pretty cool, right? Anyway, uh, you guys enjoy. Uh, for purpose of copyright and other things, I don't want to play any movies or series or anything. But you get the gist. Uh, a lot of things can be customized, favorites. Uh, 1080p movies, 3D, HD, uh, and others. So I hope you enjoy and uh, thumbs up this video, uh, subscribe to my channel, and you will definitely get more videos coming from me. If you have any questions, any um, any comments, please feel free to leave them down below. Um, well, this way. And um, so speak to you guys soon. Take care. Bye.